Mr. Body was found in the study. Was Miss Scarlet the key? She was seen with the rope. Would she have used it? Happy Halloween, everyone. And I'm Zerful, as always. We're going to be playing Clue. We're going to play with three players. I'm going to be Professor Plum. Um, and we're going to play with Mrs. Peacock. And let's throw in Mrs. White. Let's start this game up. Now we're going to look at our cards here. And hopefully I format this properly so you can see my clue card. I had to get a screen cap of uh, a <laughs> photocopy of the original SNES game screen cap thing. But I have it here and... Um, I can't really scroll down. Let's get that back right. The important thing is that we know that Colonel Mustard is not guilty. And we know that Miss Scarlet is not guilty. And we know the wrench wasn't used. And we know it wasn't in the kitchen. Whoops. And it wasn't in the ballroom. And it wasn't in the billiard room. And that's all we know. So let's press start. We're going to start playing here. We're going to have to go last because for some reason Professor Plum always goes last. But that means we get some free clues if everybody else rolls well. I've also kind of found out about this game that it seems like the roll always uses the same random number generator. So if you tap it real light... You always get a one. It's like the eighth time in a row I've started the game with a one. I don't know why I bothered with that, but kind of want to show off the poor coding, I guess. So, what are we going to find out now? Now, playing on Amateur, all the clues are positive clues. It makes it easy to figure out. You can play the game with negative clues as well. We know the knife was in the library, so I'll write that here. L-I for library. And we'll continue on. Oh, see, she got a crappy roll too. So I'm going to roll again, and this time I'm not just going to tap it. I'm going to let it shake up a bit. Look at those realistic hands. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm, what are they going to guess? Miss White? with the lead pipe. The lead pipe was in the lounge. Lounge. Oh, and we also know that it was didn't have, oh, that's the kitchen, right? Man, I should have been more careful when I wrote those things down. All right, who are you guessing here? Scarlet? She didn't do it. We know you're wrong. Oh, Mr. Green had the candlestick, eh? Let's give him a little bit of this is plausible action. And it's our turn to roll again. What did we get? A five? One, two, three, four, five. Now let's try Miss White with the knife in the library. Hmm. She was in the lounge. The lounge. Interesting. Perhaps she did it in the lounge with a lead pipe. Uh-oh. Don't tell me it was us. Uh-oh, Professor Plum did have the revolver. Kind of sucks not to have any of the uh, weapon answers yet. Hmm. 
Hmm. He seems pretty obsessed that it was Mrs. White. Oh, this is the Sam old, Sam old. Oh, no. She did have the pipe. It's still entirely possible it was her. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Now, we know it didn't happen here, but let's try to find out some more stuff. Mrs. Peacock. What don't we know about the knife? The rope was in the billiard room. Okay, billiard room. Is that billiard room? I'm pretty sure it is. No, that's the ballroom. Damn it. Too many of these rooms start with the same damn letter. All right, let's uh, end our turn. Hmm. We know it wasn't Miss Scarlet, so if we find out what weapon she had, we know it wasn't that. She had the rope! She had the rope. And so we know that she didn't do it. We know that the rope wasn't involved. Hmm. We know it wasn't Mustard either, so if we learn something more about him. He was in the library. So we know quite well that it wasn't the knife, because it was in the library. See? We know he was in the library. So it's not the knife. It's not Colonel Mustard. I guess we can do this too. And this? I don't know if that's the most effective way of filling up our board, but uh, works so far. Let's see, where are we going to head to? Let's uh, head over to the ballroom. Ooh, an interrogation. I don't think that's possible, because she's innocent. And Professor Plum is going to yell out right away. Oh, nope, see, she's certain it couldn't have been the rope, which we already figured out. So we're down to the revolver, the candlestick, or the lead pipe. Roll. Can we get to the ballroom? Wait, we know it's not in the ballroom. Crap. What did we get? A three? Oh, boy. All right, let's go in here anyways. Let's try... Green. With the candlestick. See if it tells us somewhere else that he might have been. Hmm. There was no weapon in the ballroom. Well, that doesn't help at all. We may have to make an interrogation as a last ditch effort to win if these people keep uh, getting clues here. Conservatory, okay. That's an O if anyone's asking. So, green in the conservatory with the candlestick is an option. Let's try that out. OK, 
conservatory. The air hung damp and heavy from the lush foliage of the conservatory. Mr. Green waited with anticipation. He found the candlestick. Hmm, that's an interesting possible scenario. Oh, I'm pretty sure that means I'm right. Mr. Green with the candlestick in the conservatory. If I'm wrong, this is going to make this game really dumb. Once again, the air was hung damp and heavy from the lust foliage of the conservatory. Mr. Green waited with anticipation. He found the candlestick. He was tired of being messed with. Oh, and... Hey, what's this? I got friends in high places, buddy. Just a simple matter of deduction. Even a child could find the solution. <laughs> but a child couldn't probably have read that sentence more properly than me. Anyways, I'm Zerfall. It's been Halloween. It says game over, but we won the game. Thanks for watching.